so this there's like something on here i'm trying to get it off what is that is that dog hair oh, dog hair gets everywhere man hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is anna i am a first time mom talking about all of the products that i love to use uh, for myself and for my baby her name is cameron and today she turned seven months old uh, where did the time go i have no idea um, she's growing, she's reaching all her milestones, she's on point with everything so far, so all is good. Um, fingers crossed that it keeps going the way it's been going. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the essentials that I have for her nursery uh, that I've used from the very start. Things that I think a lot of parents will be looking into um, when they first find out either that they're expecting or if they're trying to have a baby, um, if they want to change stuff up in their nursery already or in their toddler's room. These are things that you can have for a very long time, um, more than a year, so into the toddler years as well. So that's a plus. The first thing I'm going to talk about with you guys is this guy right here. A lot of parents might already have these. Uh, this is the Hatch Sleep. It's a three-in-one nightlight sound machine and an alarm as well and all it really is is it's this is what it looks like <laughs> and it's super multifunctional um, it has a variety of colors so the night light part of it is really cool because you can also dim the light to your specific needs so especially like at nighttime when you're trying to set the mood and you want to have like a nice soft ambient light going on to kind of have your baby slowly like ease into like knowing the night and day difference um, I didn't really do much uh, like sleep training with my baby. Um, she just happened to always sleep better at night and she would take her naps during the day. Um, I just got lucky with that basically. Uh, so we didn't have to do much uh, sleep training at all. However, this did help at nighttime to have something. You want to have at least a little bit of light in the nursery for, um, you know, if you're going to be in and out all night, especially if you're breastfeeding, things like that. You want to be able to have some kind of light in there, but nothing too crazy bright because it's going to distract your baby and might confuse them even. Um, so this was a really nice purchase because um, of the light portion of it. You can, there's a variety of colors. You can custom pick your color if you want. Um, there's like set ones already on there. Anything from yellow, blue, green, you name it, it has it. Um, and then again, you can change the level of brightness on there as What's well. What's also really nice about this is that you can change all the settings from the convenience of your phone. So you don't have to actually be in the room, in the nursery, uh, fiddling with it in the middle of the night, things like that. So um, I have all the settings on my phone whenever I need to change any sounds, uh, lights, things like that. I do it from my phone. I rarely ever uh, come up to it and, you know, touch it. So, uh, but you can. Uh, the ring on the top is what it's made for. And right now it's not plugged in, so I can't really uh, show you. But uh, I'll do a separate video of me showing you guys how I can uh, turn it on, basically, and turn it off from just holding my finger on the top of it like that. And then it'll turn on uh, with the light and sound that I already have preset on so there. Again, this is the hatch. It comes with the app that you guys can download and use from anywhere in the house basically. And uh, you can adjust all the settings on here from your convenience anywhere, uh, which is a great, great bonus. And again, it is a sound machine, a nightlight and an alarm. So it can grow with your baby. It's not something that you're just gonna, you know, use for a couple months and then get rid of, which I absolutely love. I still use it every single day now. I play the music on there for her at night. I use the light and then later on, um, I will start to use the alarm for her as well as she gets a little bit older. So it's something to look into and there's a variety of other sound machine uh, night lights and things like that out there. So if you're not, you know, you're not liking this one for whatever reason, there are, there are other options, but this one is definitely my favorite and it's such a sleek and simple design. There's nothing crazy funky about it, uh, which I really, really like as well. So if you guys are interested, I'll have it linked down below for you. The next item I'm going to talk about, um, I was very skeptical about having this in my house and I'm sure a lot of you can agree. Uh, so this is the Alexa. I don't know. I think this is the second one. I think there's a newer one that came out last year or even this year. It's super um, small. Like it's, it fits in my palm. It's really cute. And I, at first I was kind of skeptical of getting it because I, you know, I heard a lot of stories about people having these in their homes and they're, you know, they feel like they're being watched and things like that or listened to basically 
I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Um, but basically this was gifted to me and I'm actually really, really happy that I have it because it has come in handy so many times. Um, I also have it linked with my Spotify. So, um, if you guys have Spotify or maybe I think Pandora, like other musical music accounts, you can synchronize it with the Alexa and play music off of there, or you can, um, I think Alexa can play, you know, her own music, but it comes with commercials if you're not a member or something like that. So, um, I never went that route. I, I only have spot and I pay for my Spotify, so I don't have any commercials on there. Um, for me, music is like worth the money. So I definitely uh, love having Spotify and sync syncing it with the Alexa is like a huge, huge, um, difference for me because it made a huge difference for me because um, whenever I'm not using the hatch, the hatch does have a variety of music and like, uh, sound machine, um, sounds that it plays. However, on the Alexa, I have stations specifically for my baby that she loves to fall asleep to, for example, and I'll have these also listed down below for you guys. Um, just like the channels that I have, there's a spa one. There's like a relaxing spa music that, I'll put it on and she's out in seconds basically. She sleeps so good and when she was three months old, I remember she started sleeping through the nights listening to the spa music. So that was just like amazing for me. And then there's another station called Lullaby Babies or Lullabies for Babies that is incredible. Also just soothing, awesome nighttime music for your baby. Another great bonus uh, to having this in the house is when you're busy with your baby, your hands are full and let's say you're trying to soothe your baby or you need to know something, um, you need to look something up real quick and you don't, you can't use your phone while you're holding the baby and trying to feed her or change her, you know, you're multitasking throughout the day. So I absolutely love having the Alexa because if I need to turn music on randomly, uh, let's say, you know, Cameron's having a rough day and like I can't put her down for whatever reason and I just need music to play. So I'll just tell Alexa to play music and she'll play the music. Or if I need to know what the weather's going to be like and I, you know, I don't have that moment, even though it takes a couple minutes, I get that. But sometimes you don't have those few minutes. You just don't with a baby on your hands, especially when she was teething and going through that uh, clingy phase. Um, I couldn't put her down at all. It was, it was, um, it was rough. Basically a lot of the days that she was teething and upset, um, you're just trying to soothe the baby and you're not, you know, you're not going to be sitting on your phone all day. So having the Alexa really came in handy because anything I needed to know, anything I needed to look up. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can like have her call people for you and things like that. So if you need that extra, like set of hands, Alexa is that set of hands basically. So I highly suggest getting something like this. Um, if you're open to it, of course. Um, at first, like I said, I was kind of skeptical of having an Alexa in my home, but now I'm just kind of very grateful that I do have it because I can play music whenever I want. And that's really what I mainly use it for is, um, music and the different, the different types of stations that it has, uh, linked with my Spotify. Uh, without any commercials and things like that. So if you're interested, I'll have this one linked down below. All right, guys, the last thing I'm going to talk to you about today is the Infant Optics Baby Monitor. So this is what it looks like. And basically, it is so easy to set up. Um, literally, I think it took me seconds. You know, I took everything out of, out of the box, uh, let it charge for a couple hours, and then I put it to use and it worked instantly. No issues, no problems. Uh, this little guy right here does come with uh, two different lenses, I believe. I've only used this one, but you can um, put a different one on. I think that it has like a close-up zoom maybe, uh, but I haven't used it. I didn't need to because this one works perfectly fine. I can see everything. Um, the quality of the video is great. Uh, no matter what position she's sleeping in because right now uh, seven months old she is sleeping either on her side on her back um face down um you name it she sleeps in all different positions and she is literally doing cartwheels in her crib all night uh while sleeping so the fact that i do have this i'm really re really really grateful for because i used it in the beginning with her when she was just a newborn because, you know, first time parent, I needed to have all eyes on her 24 seven whenever she was sleeping. Um, and it was just perfect. We had it set up on a tripod actually at the time because um, I was moving her around the house at times and I just needed to keep my eyes on her and this worked great. And um, what I really love about it also is that the camera itself, um, it does move. It has like a 
like an up and down and then side to side kind of uh, variation. So it's very, very flexible uh, when it comes to um, getting that perfect angle basically. So I've learned that if you do put this up high, that's the best, um, at least for me, uh, to capture the entire crib basically. So, I mean, you can have it sitting a little bit low, but I prefer having it, like I have it set up basically on top of a dresser and it sits really, really, really high up and it captures her entire crib and how she's sleeping in it perfectly. Um, I'll have some pictures of, uh, of her sleeping in her crib and the actual visual um, image basically of what it looks like for you guys. I recently uh, pulled it out again. I haven't used it in maybe three months. Um, only because she was always a good sleeper, like I mentioned before. She would stay on her back all night. Um, and then slowly within the past like month and a half, she started sleeping on her side. Now she sleeps face down. So that really got me worried. And I will talk about that in another video. Um, so this definitely came out again because I need to keep my eye on her. And the fact that I also moved her into her nursery uh, this past month, um, that was heartbreaking. That was so heartbreaking. That was a really, really rough day that I will also probably talk about in one of my videos uh, to come. However, I was just really grateful to have this because um, I pulled it out that day actually that I moved her into her nursery and I told myself my eyes are going to be glued to this thing all night and they were. Um, and I'm just, it, it just gives me a peace of mind knowing that I can keep an eye on her without actually, you know, hovering over her. The settings on here are really simple to use. I've had no issues at all. It works perfectly fine. Um, again, like it's just so basic. There's nothing to it. I promise you there really isn't. So if you're looking for like a first, first time parents, maybe a uh, monitor, I highly, highly suggest getting this one because it doesn't come with like a whole list of instructions and things like that. You just literally plug it in, let it charge and you're good, like have it connect to the Wi-Fi and that's that's all it is. Um, there's also, it's it can be wireless too, I haven't used that um, option yet. So everything is connected, um, like plugged into the walls as of right now. So if I do wanna go the wireless route, that is an option on here for anybody that's interested, like that definitely is an option for you as well. Overall, I'm just really happy I have it and it's come in hand and it has come in handy so many times from, from day one. And now even up until, you know, seven months. And I'm going to keep using it because now that she's in her own room, I'm just like, oh, I need to keep an eye on you. <laughs> so this is the Infant Optics and I, have, and I will have it linked down below. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, these are essentials that I personally looked into and I really wanted to have for her. So if you're looking for some of these products, it doesn't have to be like this exact same sound machine or anything like that. But these are just really, really good products, like I said, and they're going to grow with her. They're, they're not things that I just used for a couple of weeks and then I ended up, you know, packing away basically. So if you're interested in any of these, I will have all of them linked down below for you, like always. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.